the seventh part, I will, see, I will show how the three worlds are connected and how everything falls into the same picture. Here we see the three worlds presented in one slide. The source world is all about the code, and in fact there are only 18 different codes. The ciphers 1 up to 9, having a positive charge or a positive value, meaning female or yin, or a negative value, meaning yang. Of course, negative is not good, is not bad, and, and positive is not good. It's just about the energies having a different charge. This is the code, and the code is activated because the code is passive, it cannot do anything. But energy is the activation of the code, it's, it's bringing it alive by the basic functions, like adding, like multiplying, like subtraction, and so on. And also the special functions of doubling and halving. Creating the skin of the apple. By those functions, we create the skin of the apple, and that is why these numbers are brought, uh, are made alive, are created to be living, living energies, as a fact. And that is why there is motion. Yeah, we saw the heartbeat of the apple in the previous presentation. And that's creating motion, because plus 9 and minus 9 creates tension. And the shadows casted from this dynamics we can see as matter. Those are the nodes in the energy waves. They look real, they look solid, but they are just shadows, nothing more. And here again we find another reference to Plato, because these basic three-directional three forms are called platonic solids, where we find the name of Plato again. These are manifestation of the motion, and we can find the meaning of the motion when we uh, relate it back to the ciphers. So it all starts with the source world. That's the, yeah, the core, the heart of the whole of reality. Based on the source code, there are a lot of flows created the flowing energies in the flow world. We're not able to detect these flows. We can't see them, we can't detect them. We have no clue, to be honest. Only thing that we think is real is the outer parts, the world of the shadows. We don't see how the shadows are created by the flow, but I think it's time that we find a new paradigm, the paradigm of holy science, to discover that shadows are not real, that they're created in a different part of reality we are not able to detect it. But we can't see the whole outer ring, we can only see a slice of it. In fact, this is our world. Everything we see, everything we perceive, everything our equipment can detect belongs to a slice. That's all. But I think that at very soon in the near future we're going to detect the slices next to us. I think our world will become much bigger and we can discover that there is much more than just the reality we see. Some people can see auras or can see orbs in the air, all belonging to the slices next to us. Modern science has totally focused, has limited itself to matter, to the shadow world. And you could say ancient science was floating around in the energy world, not making much sense to people who focus on the, on the matter, materialistic, on the manifestations. What holy science is trying to do is to unify it, to combine the best of both worlds, and to show that in fact matter is a reflection of energy, and that energy relates back to code, that you can influence energy by using the codes. That is the aim of holy science, and that is the new paradigm I hope to bring to this planet. To read more about this, please go to the website pateo.nl, there you find this free online ebook called The Bigger Picture. Thank you very much for your attention. Namaste.